The workshop in Doha not only addresses the importance of gender equality within sporting federations and the need for standout advocacies, but also key areas of improvement within respective NOCs to drive change and development. Representatives from the Oceania countries spoke on the lessons learned and the need for immediate implementation. But now it's time to walk the talk, to implement things, put things into practice. So we put together a plan of action that Oceania, or at the media in Oceania, including all of us, can work on to improve the way women in sports are covered. Or, or even the portrayal of women in general. An action plan was put together by all attendees, with one of the main elements focusing on the improvement, with the need for regional training for reporting on women in sport and the setup of a media monitoring mechanism identified. I think we've had too long, and, and that's not just our region, but other regions that we've been having experiences, that a lot of the coverage on sports is really more towards the male athletes, right? And I, I, one of the things maybe that we can encourage our sports writers that are going to cover the games is also focus on the sports that a lot of our women are taking part in. With growing multi-sport events and competitions in full swing within the region, the need for improvement on sports journalism is high. What Papua New Guinea has taken from this workshop is the need for more awareness and education to drive change. The action plan agreed on by all attendees from all continents will be assessed and distributed worldwide by the International Olympic Committee for implementation. Lorraine Genia, National MTV Sports, Doha.